everybody. We are so pleased to have you participating with us this year. We're going to spend the next couple of minutes going through just a few of the administrative details that will help you as you get started using this application. Now, first things first, you've been sent an email giving you a link to set your own password in the system. If you don't recall seeing that email, please check your spam and junk folders because sometimes the first emails that we send out may be trapped in a security filter or a spam filter. Now, if you don't get that email, please feel free to reach out to us at any time at support. We do respond to support emails same day as quickly as possible, seven days a week. So never hesitate to reach us at that, at that location. Now let's go ahead, let's log into an account that has set a password, but hasn't gotten started yet so that we can see what it's gonna look like for you when you log into your account. So we've logged into World's Greatest Teachers account in Sim School, and you should see when you log in only one section, and it should be the correct grade level that you teach this year. So it'll be elementary, middle school, or high school, and you should see a region or location that's right for you. Now click on that section to enter the PD course. The first place that you land is this overview tab, and there's a link here for open office hours that we hold every Monday. They are never mandatory. It's just another support for you if you've got any questions that we can help you with. The next tab that you'll see says resources. These are just scaffolds and tip sheets and short videos to help you understand how to use SimSchool. Again, they're here as a resource source for you. It's not by any means mandatory. Now modules, that's where you'll actually complete the mandatory PD experiences. Now because this individual is logging in for the first time, look what happens when we click on modules. It says you must complete the pre-survey to access the course modules. To do that, we'll click on the surveys tab, and the only tab that we see here is the pre-survey. It'll take about 15 minutes to complete this survey, and then the system will automatically send you a link to the email address that we have on file, with a survey link for your students to complete their portion of the pre-survey. They will need to do that for the system to open up your participation PD modules. Now when we send you that email, the instructions do recommend that you have your students copy and paste that link into their browser to complete the survey. What we're seeing that a lot of teachers are doing is just pasting that link into the LMS course shell, and then that's an easy thing for the students to copy and paste. We're recommending that because we're finding that in some districts and schools, if the link is to an unknown location, which some school may be, it may be blocked for students to actually directly click on it. But if they copy and paste it, it seems to work successfully. So that's our recommendation and it's in the instructions. Now, after you've completed your pre-survey and your students have completed their pre-survey, I'm gonna log into a different account to show you what it looks like once you actually get started working. And as we're doing that, I'll let you know that you can use any browser, you can use any device to access SimSchool. We recommend that you use something with a larger monitor, although you can use a phone and some people do prefer that. We do suggest using a larger monitor if you can. It just tends to be an easier way to see what's happening in the simulation play space. And you also can use any browser. You don't have to have a lot of bandwidth to utilize SimSchool successfully. You just need to have a relatively consistent internet connection. So we recommend not running a lot of streaming media in the background. We recommend not having a lot of browser tabs simultaneously open, and then you should be fine. So I'm gonna click on one course in which this individual, Rhonda, has already answered that pre-survey and her students have answered the pre-survey. If I click on that survey tab now, notice the pre-survey, she's already got information here. There's a post-survey link now. That's waiting here for her to complete the PD modules. And now when I click on modules, I see them right here. The tutorial module is entirely optional. It's there for you if you just would like a space to experiment in. We're never going to look at the data related to that. Module two, module three, and module four, those are the ones that we ask that you complete. And as soon as you move through them and you complete each section and green check marks start to appear on top of these gray circles, when you've completed some module two, three, and four, the post survey link will be open for you on the survey page and you'll go through the same process. You'll complete your post survey, your you will receive a link for your students to complete their post survey, and then at that point you're done. I will send you a confirmation email saying thank you for your participation, can you please confirm your mailing address for the stipend? And that can happen at your own pace over the next six weeks. If you would prefer to move very quickly, you can. If you would prefer to move more methodically over the course of the next month and a half, that's entirely up to you. 
These are self-paced and you can operate the system at any time that you choose. We look forward to meeting you and we look forward to supporting you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time.